In this lesson, we will learn how to achieve background blur effect in Drive. We'll perform the same in three steps. That is, first of all, we'll prepare the assets in Figma and export them. Then we will import the assets in Drive. And finally, set up the clip effect to achieve the background blur. Now we cannot blur any element in Drive directly, but we will achieve the same by blurring the elements and exporting them as images. That is, here you can see I have this container, which has the background blur effect applied. And if I move the same, you can see the circles in the background are blurred. So we'll go ahead and select these circles and blur them and then export them as images. And we can import the rest of the assets, that is the vector assets as SVG. So let's go ahead and first of all, export the blurred images of these circles. So I'll go ahead and hide the glass and the background. Then I will go ahead and select these two circles and create duplicates of the same. I'll go ahead and name them accordingly. That is, this will be the right circles blur and this will be the left circles blur. It will be helpful when we export the same. Now I'll go ahead and select the circles and apply an effect that is layer blur in Figma. You can generate the blurred images of these objects in any place as well. We just need their blurred images. So I will go ahead and set the blur to 10. You can use any number you would like. And now we'll go ahead and export them as images. So let's select the circles and hit export. Make sure you export them as PNG files so that the transparency is maintained. So let's export this circle as well. Now that we have generated the images of these circles as blurred, I will get rid of the same and then bring back all of the other elements. Now that we have generated the images, let's copy these vector assets as SVG like this. First step done. We have prepared the assets and exported them as well. Now let's hop on to Rive and import these assets. I will go ahead and paste the SVG which I just copied. And in the assets panel, you can see we have our pasted SVG. I will drag it and drop it onto the artboard and position it in the center and inspect the hierarchy where you can see we have the pasted SVG group. I will name it as the root. Then we have the glass group, which has two rectangles, one with the stroke and the other with the fill. I can go ahead and apply the fill directly to the stroke rectangle. That is this right here. So that we don't have two different layers. And I can use this other rectangle for clip effect later on. So let's keep it for now in our group. And let's name the group as glass like this. So this is our right ellipse and this is our left ellipse. And then we have the background as well. So let's name it accordingly. Now we'll go ahead and import the images. I will drag and drop these images to the Rive editor as well and then place them in the artboard. Let's go ahead and place them just beside the ellipses. That is the left circle will be here and then the right circle will be here just above the ellipses. And I can group them as well so that it's easier to move them around. So let's make sure that the blurs are just above the ellipses like this. And let's create the groups. This is our right circle and this is our left circle. Second step done. We have imported everything in Rive and set up as well. Now we'll go ahead and set up the clipping effects so that the blurred images of the circles is only visible 
inside of our glass container. As I mentioned before, we have a rectangle which is just there and I will remove the fill from the seam and name it as the blur clip like this. So it will be used as the clip for our blur and we can go ahead and move the glass like this as a group and the clip effect will be applied. So let's go ahead and apply the same. I will select the images, add a clip effect and choose the blur clip shape. Same for the other image. You can see that the images are clipped inside of our glass container and if I move it around you can see the blurs are visible only inside of the container. But we are still not quite right there yet because the circles which is not blurred is still visible inside of this layer or our glass. So if I go ahead and hide one of these you can see now we get the effect we want. So what we want to do is that we want to inversely clip these circles inside of this glass layer. To do that, we'll go ahead and set up another clip layer. So I'll go ahead and copy this blur clip and name it as the circle clip. And inside of the same, I will add a path that is outlining the whole artboard. So let's add the same. So inside of the circle clip, add a path that is outlining the whole artboard like this. I can go ahead and say done editing and for demonstration we can add a fill and now I can go ahead and just make it a solid and choose the fill rule as even odd. You can see we have cut it out the portion of the glass container like this. And now I can go ahead and use this clip for the circles that is these ellipses. So let's select the ellipse, choose the clip and we'll choose our circle clip and make sure you set the properties operation to even odd like this. You can see it's not visible inside of our glass container. Let's do the same for the other circle as well. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and remove the fill from our circle clip so that it's not in the way. Great, we have achieved the layer blur effect. And if I move the glass now, you can see we can see the circles blurred inside of our glass container. Now there's only one thing to note here is that if I move the glass towards the very left, you can see the circle is clipped, which can be very easily fixed if you select the circle clip the path right here or this one right here which is the rectangle you can just extend its edges that is if I go to edit vertices and select these edges let me align it to the artboard first you can go ahead and select the sides of this rectangle and move it outside the rectangle or our artboard like this. And now if I go ahead and move the glass around, you can see we get the blur effect. So that's how you can add the layer blur effect in Rive.